All right, it's Chris on a fine, fine Thursday afternoon. I'm here on the Calden Canal near a place called Norton Green. A lovely day, it's very humid. Uh, like I say we're on the Calden Canal by Bridge, Bridge 22. Uh, I grew up around this area, so I know it quite well. Like I say I can remember all this being there as a kid, just reeds. I say it was never sh officially shut, the cauldron wasn't. But in 1974, they put a sign on the junction to Truria, unsuitable for boats. I say then all the volunteers over them years got it going. It's absolutely lovely now, it's a lovely canal. I can remember in the 60s before that happened, I wasn't very old, they had a boat rally down at Park Lane ending. I remember coming down here with my mates and the this bloke gave us a lift on one of his boat. I thought this is absolutely heaven. Like I say, that was in the, must have been mid 60s. But things got deteriorated. Like I say, 1974, they put a sign there. But uh, it's uh, all open and lovely now, like most of the canals. That house there, that used to be a farm, but I believe it isn't now. Like I say, I grew up around here for 21 years, so I know it quite well. I used to go swimming down here, <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> we had a canoe and they, I just loved j jumping in. Like I say it's a lovely area. Uh, it's, it's a while since I've been down here, I'm, I'm on my bike. Uh, I've had to do a detour because um, they're doing the towpath from the drawbridge up to Rangian Lock. So I've had to uh, up about five mile detour. See, it's a lovely day, very humid. I haven't seen, there's a couple of boats moored up the other side of the lock, but there's a drawbridge here. There's two around Norton Green, there's this one, the electric one, then there's one about a mile the other direction. See, that's Norton Green over there. It's a lovely farmhouse now, used to, used to be a big farm that had. They chased me many times being in the fields. <laughs> and dry beaters come up on his tractor, but we always just get away. <laughs> so we're just coming up to the one on the drawbridge now, the electric one. I say they're doing the towpath, it's cordoned off just past the drawbridge. But it's a lovely out there. Lovely cottages up there. It's really, really humid today. Surprised. There's a, I'll say there's a couple of boats moored up the other side, but the two paths shut. I say I've had to uh, come about an extra five miles get here. It isn't what I planned. So the they're doing the two path. All the fences there. I say over there, the River Trent's just over there. Well, it's a lovely, lovely, quaint place. Just go up to the drawbridge. That's the feeder out of from Nipersley. Nice, Nipersley Reservoir. Feeds into the canal. Goes through Norton Green, and uh, I'm not sure how it gets up to Nipersley, but it's definitely it. Years ago, they were on about opening it up so boats could go into Norton Green, but like I say, cost that much money, it never happened. Cutting the fields there. Just round the corner is the drawbridge. Why they made it electric, I don't know. It doesn't actually do a road, it's only the footpath. A bit of a dirt track. I say the one a bit further down, that's still uh, a windy one. And it's a bit awkward as well because the windy one's on the other side for single boaters. So that's it. So I hope you have a great, great day. 
keep subscribing and give me a thumbs up. What a beautiful sight that is. Thank you. Bye.